Hey guys, this is Tattoo Tony, and uh, this is the third and final part of the um, abandoned movie theater after the curtain closed. And uh, closed, rather. Anyways, I'm showing the outside of the building again uh, for people who may not have caught the second video. Um, also, if you haven't seen the first and second, you may want to go back and watch because. Um, there's some historical information and there's also a lot of cool stuff that's not shown in this video because uh, between the three videos this is really a full tour of this um, decaying entertainment establishment there are also some different um, shots of the outside of the building and the facade that were not in the first video so um, Hopefully you guys like these. Also, if you're watching my videos, please give the video a thumb up, thumbs up. Uh, it's a way to help support me. Um, you know, if I get four or five hundred views, uh, I may have one dislike or thumbs down, and uh, you know, twenty or thirty thumbs up. But it would really help this vi this uh, channel. It would really help it support itself. Um, if you would make sure and click the thumbs up button on videos that you like. If you like this channel um, and would like to see us make more and perhaps travel, upgrade equipment, hitting that thumbs up button on the videos, the more I get, the more YouTube suggests the videos for people to watch. And uh, the more views I get, the more I could potentially see some revenue that I could put into uh, travel expenses to go and film more things so I'm just trying to keep the channel completely uh, self-sufficient that would be fantastic and that would allow me to uh, create the maximum amount of videos so I'd appreciate that um, you know subscribe like share comment but please hit the thumbs up button there was a mess of pigeons probably about 10 in this room those were some storage lockers I'm not quite sure what this room was used for I would have liked to have just checked and seen if there was any writing on any of the other hangers, but everything was p covered in pigeon poop and I didn't have gloves, so I didn't want to touch everything. Once I left this place, though, I immediately washed my hands. That was an old piece of uh, movie film. I found a couple of them. There wasn't anything real interesting in the frames, just the word and over and over again. If anybody has any idea what that thing is sitting there, I'd love to know. I thought there was a possibility that that metal bucket and this metal decaying, it's rotting so you can't tell. Hard to see. I thought that might actually be some sort of film canister at one point that had film in it. Let me know what you think. In this video, we're also going to go out on the balcony. So, there's some pretty cool stuff that's spread out through this video, so stay tuned. Those are parts of the theater seats. And uh, I mentioned it in the other videos, this theater had around 1,700 seats. The theater was opened, I believe, in 1925 to replace a theater that was built in, oh, 1905 or 1908. The theater burnt to the ground, and then they built this one in its place. Also want to mention again that... That card pisses me off, bro. The card I lost. 
this theater. This theater was one of the first in southern Illinois to show talkies, or pictures, you know, films with words. Uh, in 1928, they installed a Vitaphone, a Vitaphone sound system. Also, one of the first places is in this town to have modern air conditioning. I thought that was kind of weird. It looked like maybe a little kid's jacket. I'm not sure. It was tied around that pipe. I'm not sure what the purpose of that was. This is, I believe, some sort of utility room. I'm not, I'm not sure what. Maybe this is where their ultra modern air conditioner sat. Not much left of the old theater seats, but they were made of wood and had cushions. There's also an old part of the carpeting coming up. It's hard for me to say whether or not it would have been some of the original carpeting from 1928 or not. The theater closed in 1960. For such a beautiful place, though, it's, it seems like a really short lifespan. 32 years it was in operation as this theater. Now there's a bunch of windows there. I guess this is the projectionist room. And if anybody knows the purpose of the different sized windows and why there are so many, I'm assuming that maybe you have multiple projectors set up so that as one reel ends, you can start another reel on another projector, but I, I'm not sure. I've never been a projectionist. I'll find something else interesting in this room, too. There was a little bit of porcelain on the ground. Perhaps that was a remnant of a toilet. I'm not sure. I was in one theater where there was a bathroom in the projectionist room. I assume so that a projectionist could use a restroom if they had to. Quickly. This had some sort of buzzer bell on it. This is interesting. This is 1952, February 27th. It says Alton. You'll notice the word Alton. This theater is about 25 minutes from my hometown. And um, that was actually an Alton Telegraph newspaper from 1952 that was laying there. Again, I probably would have flipped through it and looked at the uh, stories in it and showed them to you, but everything was covered in pigeon poop, so... I didn't want to touch it too much. Here we are back in the theater. And I'm going to show you a painted design on the wall here in a second. Not sure what that little door or window in the wall was. The 
those are arms from the chairs and here's a Pepsi can I'm assuming from 1960 or earlier and the only reason I say that is because the theater closed in 1960 there's an actual fixture left from the wall that's pretty cool If you're listening on something with decent sound, you can hear the steps echo. There's another old Pepsi can. There's some trash. You can see a popcorn bag. Also, there was like a Wrigley Spearmint Double Mint. Sorry, that was so quick. This is in the very front of the building. Um, there used to be a store, I guess, or a hair salon. There were several storefronts here. I'm not sure the age of this. If anybody has any idea, let me know. I wonder if this could have been here in 1960. I'm not sure. I didn't hang around in the front of the building for a real long time because it was open and you could people driving by and stuff could see you from the street so I sound like Darth Vader. You can hear me really breathing in that respirator. This looks to be possibly an ice machine. Somebody took the compressor and the copper out. There's the stage. The stage has collapsed. It's up above. If anybody knows what this might be, a platform for an organist? I'm not sure. That's underneath the stage. The stage has collapsed. It says fire door. I'm not sure why this fire door made in St. Louis back when we used to have jobs and manufacture a lot of things uh, contact information thanks a lot for watching guys remember hit the like button um, if you watched and you like my channel help support me by hitting the like button I appreciate it have a good day